Hi there, Time of the EV Universe. I finally got my hands on the Tesla Cybertruck and today we're gonna take it for a drive. Very first thing that you notice when you get into the Cybertruck is this, can't call a wheel, it's a squircle, the square circle. Um, not quite the yoke that we've come to be used to with the plaids, um, but definitely different. Now the Cybertruck's steer by wire is something I've heard a lot about with other reviewers. It's interesting that you can max out the steering turns with basically a little bit more than half a turn. Um, I'm really curious to see how it is when you actually drive it. The first thing's first with the Cybertruck. Uh, recognizes either your phone or in this case, I'm using a backup key card. Uh, foot on the brake and you can use this touch screen to slide the vehicle into reverse. And off we go. Man, it's really cool. Like I'm barely turning this thing and the car is making a full 90 degree. Same deal, touch screen up into drive. It's really slick. And right away we're doing about 25 miles per hour. You can really feel these aggressive 35 inch tires that came on the foundation package. Um, really kind of like knobby, almost mud tires are not smooth. To this point, I've got maybe 10 miles of drive in this truck. I am still having difficulty figuring out the turn signals. Turn signals are on the steering wheel. There's no yokes. It's just push buttons for left and right, which is bottom to top based on that order. And I've been struggling to find the right words to use when it comes to describing this truck. Um, by all outward appearances, it is hideous. Um, but it, it's endearing. The more you're around it, it attracts a lot of attention. But it's really smooth. It feels really, really solid. And it drives wonderfully. And someone almost just got into a crash looking at this truck instead of doing what they're supposed to be doing. That was sweet. If you're, you're able to see the squircle as I'm steering here, I can, we're going around corners, we're on a 45 mile per hour road with a few bends. And this steer by wire is adapting to the speed of the truck and adjusting for the amount of input I have to put in for how much it actually turns. And I think it's really, really noticeable when you get into a tight parking area and you don't have to make the full rotation of a steering wheel to get your wheels around. I've always been a big fan of regenerative braking and I think it works very well in this truck. It's a little bit more aggressive than what I'm used to in my Mach-E and I'm okay with that. But there's no inclination to need the brakes and it is wicked fast. Now, as far as the acceleration speed, it's not as fast as the quad motor Rivian, uh, at least this particular model isn't, but definitely it's gonna be faster than your F-150 Lightning. It's gonna be um, up there with your Mach-E GTs and your Porsche Taycan. It's definitely quick. One of the unsung praises that I have of Tesla is their user interface on their center touchscreen. And it's foreign to a lot of people and to me, but I really appreciate how it's incorporating the cameras of the truck, the navigation screen. Compared to other cars, like this thing is putting the Cybertruck on the screen, it's giving me the yellow lines, the white lines, it's picking up cars on the side of the road, it's picking up traffic lights. Um, it can differentiate between pickup semis, SUVs and cars, pedestrians and motorcycles. It's just such cool technology that's just put up here on display. And it doesn't take long to get used to it. I really do like the ride quality of it. I could see myself driving this truck. I could see myself with my family in this truck going to Home Depot and putting in lumber, you know, hauling gravel or towing a trailer, like all of those things I could definitely see myself in while I'm in this area. Now, it's everything else that makes me say no to this truck. Like, I love how important this truck is gonna be for the automotive industry. And I think it's hard for us as a civilization to recognize the important moments when they're happening in front of you. But this truck, I think, is going to be akin to a, every other revolutionary vehicle that's come before it. Um, with the 48 volt architecture, with the steer by wire, 
with this unique unibody type design with the exterior stainless steel panels being part of the structure and the support and the rigidity of the truck. Like it's all so critical for the next Tesla and for the next big thing that's gonna come after this. Because to be honest, there are some refinements that should be happening for this truck that didn't. There are some rough edges. I, just before filming this video, walked around the corner of the truck bed and smacked my shoulder on one of the rough edges of the stainless steel, and I had to check my shoulder to make sure I didn't cut my shirt. Like, it hurt. We've seen the test videos where people are putting carrots and other produce inside of the front as it closes. Even after the most recent update, you're probably going to get cut if you put your finger in there, but it may not get decapitated. Yeah, hi, people waving. I want to say hi every time you stop at a traffic light. Hi! Well, not much. Is that your car, huh? It is, the Cybertruck. I've never seen that before. There aren't many around right now. They're pretty new. But it's uh, kind of hideous, but it does a lot of cool stuff. So, four wheel steering, uh, zero to 60 is about like three and a half seconds. It's a rocket. But, yeah. It's got back seats in there? Yep, it's got a full back seat. It's just a little bit smaller than like an F 150. Okay. But yeah, when the light goes green, I'll show you how quick it is. Oh, shit. But, what, what, uh, what brand is it? It's Tesla. Oh, it's Tesla. Yep. Cool. All right, see ya. See ya, bro. So yeah, every single traffic light seems to be like that, but we made a friend. So the attention that this thing brings is honestly enough for me to say, yeah, I'm all set for now. Maybe in a couple years and people see Cybertrucks all the time and they don't care about them, but like, I don't want to have that much attention. All in all, from a driving experience, I really kind of like this truck. I really don't have anything bad to say about that driving experience, barring the road noise from the tires, but it's a truck. In theory, you're supposed to be able to go off-roading and do stuff like that, do truck stuff. So, you know, I can forgive that. The wind noise of a highway speed seems appropriate, maybe a little bit loud, but really, from everything happening inside this cabin while we're going down the road and enjoying the drive, I really, really like it. I think Tesla did a great job on ironing out and creating this vehicle to be really revolutionary, and they've really hit the mark on that. Now, when we get outside of the truck, we'll talk about a couple things, you know, maybe not so great, but I think that's kind of like art, you know, it's a, the beauty of that is in the eye of the beholder. First one oh, thank you. Cool. Thank you. The first one he's seen. Definitely not the first time I heard that. So fun side note, I've never driven to North Carolina before, but I'm noticing that you guys down here have all of your road signs that have private drives where you put this nice yellow tag on it that says private drive. That's kind of cool. I like that. In Michigan, we just make them blue or red or any other color than green. Which doesn't make them stand out as much. I like that yellow. Good work, North Carolina. You can see now the four wheel steering. It is canted out here in a little bit and the, the same for that front wheel. Uh, that four wheel steering is a really cool part about this truck. And I know that GM did it back in the 90s and yeah, they did it, but this is, this is really cool. Um, now, aside from all the tech and the comfort and like what I really appreciate about the driving experience of this truck, like I stand by all that, it, it is all true. Um, I can even get behind this appearance of it looking like a shiny dumpster and other, you know, other great internet comments. And the one I think I love the most right now is the incel Camino. So whoever came up with that one, thank you. And stainless steel is the part that makes this truck look the way it looks because of these rigid body panels. And they do look good when they're clean. Now this truck was cleaned three days ago, I'm told, and it is now covered with fingerprints and mostly because of I'm doing this, but fingerprints from kids and there's bird poop and water spots and it just gets dirty like any car does but it's really hard to keep clean and I think that is a really big detractor that people that want to look hard that looks nice uh, they're gonna have a hard time with that you could wrap it that that's very possible 
uh, but there's an added expense to wrap the vehicle. Now, I would if I was going to own one, but again, I don't think I want to spend that kind of money on this truck right yet. I think it'd be really fun if we as a community could just make a pack together to whenever you see a Cybertruck out running around and it's got the stainless steel finish on it still, just to remind them that their truck is dirty because it, it really eats at them. Like, you know that the person who bought this truck, they want to have attention drawn to them and they're used to having a clean car and all of these spots really gonna get under their skin. Like, that'd be fun. Especially if you see the one that says EV Universe on the back of it, Mike likes that a lot. We really appreciate you coming to watch our video. Please like, subscribe, and follow us to make sure you get all the current content coming out of EV Universe on your favorite electric vehicles. I had to switch over to my iPhone here to finish this one off because my big camera just got too hot in the North Carolina sun. Uh, but please leave your comments below and let us know what we can do better or what you want to see different. Thanks. Bye.